hello guys you're welcome to trading room and in today's video we show us how to model first floor slab in agicad okay so since we have um our staircase here i think we should model the staircase first before going straight to the slab so how to do that is um locating your stairs okay under this little arrow you can select the type of stairs you want if it's wooden solid concrete or dress so let's go with concrete okay from concrete let's go to settings and um from this settings the top we don't want any extension it should just everything should stop at the steps and um the width space of 100 no we don't need it so make it zero and for the width of your round um, flight the width should be 1150 that's based on what we have on that plan this is the width and um the height of our riser the height should be 150 and um what else what else what else what else okay we don't want our riser to have angle okay so we just need to click on this one and then leave it on street riser okay street riser so the next thing to do now is um okay these are the basic settings so far so click on okay let's start drawing our steps all right so let's go with here to this point bring it to this point okay then go back click on this move um click on this landing from the landing let's pick this same point and then go back and click on steps again click on steps again which is this one all right click on step which is the flight click on flight again and move it to 20 okay what we need is 20 steps okay so click okay and um from here let's check our 3d to see what we've gotten so far okay so this is what we have so far and um let's quickly change the color of let's quickly change the color of this um stairs okay so click on setting dialogues and under flight which is here you will see some uh, let's change some of these colors to black these are the lines okay the lines to black lines and then for the color let's make everything white for now okay let's make everything white for now so this is our step now we can uh, create our slab okay now we can create our slab so still go back to um your plan plan view which is the this time around let's go with second floor okay that is story two let's go with second floor which is story two and from here we can now uh, you know create our slab so click on slab click on setting dialogues let's do some basic settings thickness 150 that's that's all right the color let's go with white white is cool and um okay these are the basic settings and um these are the basic settings okay and for the color let's go with white okay these are the basic settings um let's start from this point okay to this point oh we forgot something this is what actually happened let's move it from rectangle this angle right from square mode to this um flexible one so pick that point click on this second one let's do some little design if you want a straight line um a little guide click on this grid snap okay let's highlight this one this can actually give us a straight line so let's type 600 you know to get a little bit cantilever so we can remove it now since we have what we want and then hold down your shift key to activate that straight mode again and um this is where we are bringing our point now okay so this is what we have so far let me show us something before we create something again <laughs> something before something you can see that we can't um, we can't actually view our staircase this way okay the staircase is inside so there's there's need for an opening for us to actually you know view our staircase and to to us to to enable us access that um staircase so let's go back to our plan view again okay click once on this point on the slab all right pick your slab to make sure you click it like this okay you highlight it first this time around let's make use of this um rectangular shape okay so click on this point once and bring it to the end of this slab then escape and click your 3d now look at what we have so now we can easily access your staircase okay your staircase this is our slab this door i think is a bit um 
tight if this is a bit tight so let's move this point outside a little okay outside a little okay then the up one same thing with the up one okay check your elevation view this is the this is the thickness of the slab and the slab is below so what we need to do now is to click on this and then add the thickness which is 150 here 150 if your slab thickness is 200 that means it's 200 you will be typing here so since it's 150 we type in 150 and you can see now everything is aligned all right so let's check our 3d now this is our slab okay this is our slab all right so thank you for your time if you find this video helpful please do well to subscribe to this channel thank you once again for your patience